When we enter a task into a project plan, we want that task to abide by the project calendar. And if we say that the project calendar has Sunday as a non-working day, we want the task to acknowledge that. But sometimes, and that's called standard durations, and these are all standard durations. They all abide by the project calendar, and we don't work Sundays. But let me show you something called elapsed duration. Now, I don't want to put this in the wedding, so I'm going to open up a new project file just by pressing Control N for New. So I've got a new project file, and when I look at the GAN, I can see that Saturday and Sunday are non-working. So let's just chuck in here two dummy tasks, task 1 and under that task 2. Now I can see also in the task mode column that these are manually scheduled. I'm going to go across to here and change these to auto scheduled so they automatically schedule themselves according to what I enter. So I've got two tasks and they're both one day long because project put that in and they're both happening on Wednesday. Now let's change the duration from task 1 to 5 days. 5 days means that I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not working Saturday and Sunday, so I'm then on working Monday and Tuesday. So this particular duration, because it's a, a day, is adhering to the project calendar. And it makes the bar 7 days long because we don't work Saturdays and Sundays. So it abides by the project calendar. But if I turn around and for task 2, put 5ED, E means elapsed. What that means is it ignores the project calendar. It ignores the fact that we don't work Saturday and Sunday. And this is reflected in the bar. By putting an E, I'm asking this task to work 24-7. So this task is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This assumes we're working Saturday and Sunday. This one is abiding by the project calendar, and we don't work Saturday and Sunday, so it's seven days long. If you need to enter a duration that's an elapsed duration, simply put an E. You can have ED for elapsed days, EH for elapsed hours, EW for elapsed weeks. An elapsed week, for example, would be 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Another thing to consider is splitting tasks. Some people like to split a task in half, maybe do three days one week, and then do the other two days a couple of weeks later. For this I'm going to go to the task tab in the ribbon. And what I have here in the schedule group is a button called split task. So I'm going to click that button. Then I move my mouse over to the particular task on the Gantt, and I click where I want to break it. So I'm going to click here. I've just broken this task into two. So I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the other two days, I'm going to drag them across and do those a couple of weeks later, Monday and Tuesday. So this allows me to split my five-day task across a few weeks. If you don't want to split the task or you encounter a task that has been split, simply drag the second portion back to the first portion, and they'll merge back together. So you can split tasks if you wish. I prefer to break them down into subtasks, but that's up to you. The other thing you can do is you can add notes to a task. If you suddenly think of something, you want to create a note. While I'm sitting on a task, in the task tab in the ribbon, and to the far right in the properties group, I have a notes button. If I click this button, I can add a note. And when I click OK, in my indicator column, I can see I've got a little yellow post-it note. And when I rest on it, the little note pops up. Another way to add a note is just by double-clicking a task. And going to the notes section at the top here. And OK. And there's my second note, which I can rest on and read. Some people don't like to have the little post-it symbol in the indicator column. They actually want a column for notes. So what I can do here, for example, is if I want to show the notes column to the right of the task name column, I'll right-click duration, and I'll insert column. I'll then press N for notes, and there's my notes field there, and I'll click notes. And now I have a column where I can see my notes clearly, and they'll be included in the printout of my Gantt. I can also easily click on a particular note 
press the key F2 and add more and enter. If I then want to hide this particular column, I can right click notes and I can hide the column. So you either insert columns or hide columns. Insert means unhide. So I'll hide this column. To actually delete a note, I need to go back to the note itself. So I might double click this particular task, drag over the note, and press the delete key. And OK. And that effectively has deleted the note. So you don't actually delete the note object, you delete the note text. And that removes the, the note from the task. So I'll click on this one, double click, and I'll remove the notes. And OK. I'm now finished with this particular project, so I want to close it without saving. In the top right corner, we have two X's. I'm going to hit the bottom X to close this particular window. It'll ask me if I'd like to save, and I'll choose No. And I'm back to my wedding.